Hey guys, welcome back to the Twisted League series. Last episode we hit 5,000 points and we decided to go with Zarek's Wisdom for our last relic. It was finally time to start Slayer, but uh, we got blue dragons. Now this is a big problem because the only blue dragons you can find are the brutal blue dragons in the catacombs. These things are no joke, they have 250 hit points and insanely high defense. In the Twisted League we do have access to the anti-dragon shield, but we don't have access to the anti-fire potions. Well, we do, but the only way to get the blue dragon scales is from the blue dragons. Which just so happens to be a 1 in 32 drop rate. Also, just look at my gear. It's pretty pathetic. There's a few basic upgrades I'll need to be able to slay these things. Since I have the treasure seeker relic, we're gonna go do these clue scrolls. There's 61 range. I forgot we're actually gonna need some levels to wear the blessed D hide if we get it from the clue scrolls, so we'll take them as they come. Uh, come on, please, it's the last one. We're really risking it. Oh my god, boys, it's an, a ninja impling. Please. Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna run back and get my stuff real quick. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane! I mean, we're probably gonna get a room plate body from these caskets, maybe, but holy sh- Okay, we got our five caskets, and now it is time to open them up. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. <sighs> well, we got what we needed. <laughs> all of these are upgrades. Every single one of them, except for the lobsters, but all of these are upgrades. Cool. So, oh, Bando's chaps, that's perfect. And two rune pickaxes, that's awesome. And some more alcaboles. And some more alcaboles. Yeah, we got a full black dehyde set. Awesome. Oh, yes. Look at that, boys. Our first set of full rune. And we got the ancient plate body. That's awesome. What are the stats on this? Oh, yeah. 62 strength bonus. I think we're gonna alcohol this, except for the U short bow. And we're not. This can't alk for too much, can it? At 300. I mean, that's that's a hundred feathers right there. All right, let's see how much we get from all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all right, 163k. That's uh, that's going straight to the feather shop, uh, I believe. All right, something that is long overdue. Let's get that purple dye on there. Oh yeah, there we go. The purple cape has been achieved and it looks pretty good with the ancient robe top as well as my ancient plate body in the bank. So pretty sweet. Since I need to equip an anti-fire shield while I kill the blue dragons, the next thing on my list is going to be a rune crossbow. But the only way to get that is either from a rune limbs drop from steel or iron dragons or from a master clue. So I'm gonna try for the rune limbs. This shortcut is absolutely terrible. Until we get that rune Sibo, we're pretty much paused on Slayer for the moment. So I forgot that these are gonna hit me for some damage, like every time they breathe fire. And uh, <laughs> I didn't bring any extra food. I'm just gonna pray that I can actually kill one. Otherwise, I just wasted like 10 minutes and a shit ton of runes. <laughs> Come on, rapid, rapid heal, go! My health's filling up pretty fast, so we might be able to last here if I just keep that on. And our first steel dragon. Please, limbs. Nope. Um, I'm gonna go get some more food just because I know for a fact that this is not gonna work out. So, all right, I'm gonna drag him over here. No, there we go. Perfect, stay right there. All right, so we're gonna be trying out some iron dragons. They should have lower defense, so I'm guessing it would be a little bit better for getting rune limbs. The drop rate is one in 25 versus one in 16 from the steel dragons. We have a better chance of killing more with uh, this limited amount of chaos runes. So hopefully we get something. I don't know if, what we're gonna do if we don't. Come on, give me something good. No. 720 XP, that's cool. Is he stuck? Okay, stay there. Stay there, Mr. Dragon. 
Just stay there. Yep, stay there, bud. Yep, stay there. And he found a way out, gosh. Oh, there's another one, man. I just burned through like 200 chaos runes for that. For some curry. Oh, dragon number four, because we killed the steel dragon once. Dragon number five. Ah, I'll take the hard clue. Dragon number six. Okay, can this please be? Not coins. Just, just some rune limbs, please. If I got this on kill number seven or six, that would be so good, please. Dragon number eight. Dragon number nine. I got seven casts left because I, well, I got five casts now. Four. Because I forgot to buy some more air runes. Uh, I might have to staff bash him out. Man. I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> oh, this sucks so bad, man. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now, man? Oh, there's a 12. Just one more hit, please. Yes. Yes. And the blood runes. All right. You know, my motivation has just been completely taken out by this blue dragon task, man. Uh, so disappointing. Well, considering we have been royally screwed, I may as well just blow my whole cash stack on the runes. Because without the rune crossbow, there's literally no way for us to level up the Slayer. So, uh, this sucks. And some more coins. More coins. Rune knives? <sighs> I, I, I'm pretty sure these are the same exact drop rate. You know, when this is all said and done, at least I can say I got 71 magic. I couldn't agree more, dude. I am kitten pretty low on the runes, boys, so this might be our last kill. <gasps> oh my god. We just got so lucky. I was literally planning to leave, like I was gonna go get 76 smithing. Oh my god. And we didn't run out of chaos runes, too. Man, we were like we probably had one kill left with these. That's that's so lucky, man. Oh my god. Okay. We just need to use this on the log. There's that. Attach those there. Oh. And now we just need a bowstring. And with this piece of sinew, we n Well, okay. Well, I forgot you had to spin it. So hold up. I gotta figure out where that is. And we got the rune crossbow. Ah, oh my gosh. This piece of item is my most treasured item on this game. Even more so than the spiked manacles. And here we go. I just did a hard clue. And, uh, I mean, hoping for a blessed dehyde top, but, you know, you can't be too greedy. So, I'm just gonna camp here at Anku's, maybe get some blood runes and some death runes, and hopefully some hard clues. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, we need 70 range so we can wear the black dehyde slash blessed dehyde for the brutal blue dragons. I don't think there's any point in trying them with blue dehyde chaps and a studded body. So, um, yeah, that's the other reason why we're here. And we just reached 1500 total level on the Twisted League. Whoa. Um, I really don't know what's going on here. Another upgrade I'll need to get for Brutal Blue Dragons is a higher prayer level. I've thought of a plan to train my prayer up, and it requires me to delve into the Forthos dungeon. In order to unlock the prayer training method, I'll need to offer 100 baby dragon bones to the altar before it can start giving me prayer experience. Haha, <laughs> boys! We just got a groovy key! Let's go use it. I have no idea how much progress I'm really making right now, but yeah, there's no divine presence. I'm, I reckon I'm about halfway after this inventory. Yeah. What do we get? Snapdragon, 
Um, a ranging potion, very useful, and some food. I switched to a range setup because I may as well work on 70 range while I'm here. Just past 69 range, so one more level to go. So I actually continued offering bones past the initial 100 because at 200 bones offered, you get this temple key, which allows you to unlock those other two doors permanently within the dungeon. Man, you gotta love these XP drops. There's 55 prayer. All right, Mr. Groovy Key, what do you got for me? Uh, the, the, I, I like the ranging potion. I don't really like anything else though. Western door unlocked, Eastern door unlocked. So we're still not quite done yet. I still need 70 range. And you'll notice that I've been collecting some pages in the bottom of my inventory. Collecting all the pages for the books will allow me to complete the In Search of Knowledge mini quest, which will net me some big XP lamps to use on some skills. So I may as well just finish that off while I'm still at the Forthos dungeon. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Finally, some good gear. So here is our range bonus before, 96. And here's where we are after, plus 124. Okay, this should be the end of the hard clue. We just need some blessed dehyde. Let's freaking go! We just got a full bando set and a rune full hell, man. That is some sauce. Just over here at the undead druids, getting some of the last pages for the books. There it is. The Tome of the Sun book is complete. All right, and then I just gotta show this guy the books, and there he goes. And we get an XP lamp. This thing's gonna be actually crazy. You already know what we're using it on. <laughs> oh my word. 100k agility. Um, It's a good thing we have the 10 times XP right now, because that just saved us a ton of time. All right, we got another casket. And a book of scrolls, some nature runes. Oh, I'm, I'm happy with that. Of course, I obtained the rune crossbow, but the other big part of this equation is the bolts. So for the bolts, I'm gonna need a ton of coal because I'm not using steel bolts. There's no way in hell I'm using those. So we're going for mithril. We got a lot of coal to mine. So I ended up mining like 400 plus pieces of coal, but uh, I forgot we don't even have the level to make mithril bars. So we're gonna just be making some steel bars. Then we're gonna go smith them into arrow tips that we can use for Slayer. And then we're gonna go back to Mount Karum, smelt our mithril ore. There's 50 smithing. Now we can do mithril bars, but we still need 53 in order to make the actual bolts. Oh, is this gonna be it? Hey, there we go. 53 smithing. We are here getting a thousand XP drops for these mithril bolts. We are finally on the last step that we need to be able to do brutal blue dragons for our slayer task and get back to slayer. Ooh, do you see those XP drops? Look at that. Next, we're gonna turn all these into bolt tips real quick. So while I was gearing up, I realized I had no ring slot and since these are so high level and I'm going to be taking massive amounts of damage because I have no anti-fire potions, because the only way you can get those is by killing brutal black dragons or brutal blue dragons, I'm going to be making some rings of recoil since I have the supplies in my bank and that's just going to help us take these out faster. So once we get over these, we'll be back to the Slayer grind. I just realized that this video is already going to be like 20 minutes, but uh... That's okay. But I hope this shows you just how much of a pain this was to get, like, my God. <laughs> All right, the first kill. Uh, the strategy here is just turn on protect from mage and you just sit back and you eat whenever they do that little anti-fire breath. And um, that's about it. Uh, we'll see how long the first kill takes. First kill, oh, and a, a Slayer level, and a nice little Nature's Talisman. Okay, well, off to a great start. 
There's 71 range. I'm kind of wondering how many range levels and slayer levels I'm going to get from this task because each brutal dragon gives me 2.5k slayer XP. So I mean, I guess I could count it out, but uh, we'll just see how much it gets. Shout out to John Main, who didn't even realize he was subscribed to me, which reminds me, if you're not subscribed already, definitely click the subscribe button. I got a lot more content coming up soon. If you want to see more Twisted League content, we got that coming. And for all of you who are already subscribed, I just want to say thank you so much for the continued support. And I'm just having a blast making these Twisted League videos. So, thanks a lot. So I totally ran out of mithril bolts, but uh, at least we got 60 smithing now. Yes, there it is, some more dopamine! Well there's 50 slayer, and I forgot to even mention that the emerald bolts don't even work on the blue dragons. They're immune to poison. So I pretty much made those for nothing, I might use them for something else later. And it's been about 3 or 4 hours and I still have 42 left. As you can see, I am fletching some more steel arrows because I want to go do some of the hard and elite clues that I got from Brutal Blue Dragons because if I get those done, I have a chance to upgrade my coif to blessed coif or upgrade my boots to blessed dehyde boots. And we pretty much need all the power we can get. Ooh, I'll take it. Some, some nice herbal or XP. I actually finished one of those elites. I had to drop the rest of them because I kept getting the bob shirt clue. Um, but we got one, so I'm, I'm kind of excited to open that. Ah, and it's over. It's about time. Okay, so we got five hard clues and one elite casket. I'm not sure which one I'm going to open first, honestly. I mean, the rewards itself from elites are not good, but they do have a chance of dropping the Dragonstone bracelet or the glory. So, I mean, here goes nothing. A mimic? Yeah, I want a chance. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess we'll just do that after this. Let's go for the hards first, then. A bucket helm. And a rune battle axe. Okay. Some natures. Okay, I'll take that. And more junk. More junk. More junk. And what do you know? More junk. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to open that, but we just got a rune crossbow. Uh, that would have been nice before we went for the big grind to build our own. Well, um, that was a big waste of time. I could have probably finished my Slayer task by now, so, you know. Oh well. So while I was killing blue dragons and maybe getting about 10 kills an hour, I realized that it was, it would probably be worth using my Chinchampas, all 2800 that I have in the bank, just to get my range level up. But as you know, Chinchampas, especially the regular ones, are extremely inaccurate and if you couldn't tell by my gear there are a few slots we could definitely upgrade considering my relics give me 20 times experience and crafting i figured this is probably the best way to upgrade my gear and that's a train in the background sorry <laughs> so the plan is so the plan is to mine silver ore until we get 66 crafting and from there we can make blue dehyde vamps and those give plus nine range attack bonus. All right, I got 347 silver bars ready to go. We're gonna turn these into some tiaras and that should give us a lot of XP. Yeah, this was definitely a great idea. These XP drops are crazy. You know, I was thinking with 69 crafting, I can actually make a blue dehyde shield and that will give us an additional five attack bonus for range. So I, I may as well get those levels right now. So I'm out of silver ores, but I found these sapphires in my bank and I have some gold ores. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some sapphire necklaces because I can turn those into games necklaces and that'll give us a teleport to Winter Tote, which will just help us a lot with clue scrolls and banking. Because we did the whole Forthos thing earlier and we got the medium diary, we can tan our hides. I mean, that was kind of pricey, but there's our hides. And I'm not sure if that'll give us the level, but we'll get pretty close to it, that's for sure. 
All right, so that was the last of the blue dragon leather, but I figured I may as well just bring some dragon bones over here and get those humongous XP drops right there. Ugh, just imagine later when I'm gonna go here to train crafting on the red dragons and we'll be training prayer at the same time too. So this will be pretty nice later on, that's for sure. Now, the moment I have been waiting for, for a good hour or two since we came up with this idea. Oh man, that's some good XP. <laughs> Aha, 69 crafting. So before, our attack bonus was 99. And now, it is 113. Which doesn't seem like a big boost, but when you remember we're using Chinchampas, we don't even have Void or anything, so we're gonna need all the bonuses we can get. All right, boys, this is the spot. Yeah, so the plan is to sit here and grind out some range levels um, because blue dragons just, it doesn't make sense to do them at this level when we have this many chins. So I actually just left and tried checking a few other places, but it seems like this is the best place to use these. Uh, they drop blood runes, death runes, law runes, and uh, hard clue scrolls. Temple spiders might be better, but there's always so many people there that I don't know if it's really worth it. So yeah. I'm gonna sit here and chin for a little bit, see how far along we get. All right, this guy, if you see this guy, call him a dick. Literally, just attacking every single one of my Ankus, man. Some people, dude. So one of you guys in the clan chat actually suggested that I try out jellies because I now have the Slayer level for them and they still drop hard clues. They have a lot more HP and a little bit higher defense, but I think because they're less populated than the Ankus, it's gonna be a lot better of a training spot for us, so we'll see how it goes. Finally, I have my own world of jellies. Man, I was waiting so long for this. Now you can see the, even though these have higher defense, you can see the XP drops are so massive because I have the, I think I might have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine i have the full nine in this spot so we're getting the maximum amount of xp when we do this as you can see we also got a pair of mithril boots which is pretty nice we're not gonna have to hunt for those later for that one clue scroll and we just got 80 range i think we might be able to get 81 by the time we go through these chinchampas so that's something good to look forward to All right, coming up on the last of the chins. Got 10 more left here. And uh, almost made it to 82. That's all right though. We still have 1800 in the bank, if I remember correctly. But we will most likely save those until we actually have a Slayer task. All right, so as you can see, we were getting close to 1 million experience per hour at our current level. And we also pulled out with 33 hard clue scrolls. <laughs> I'm tempted to do them all right now, but uh, I just know that that's gonna take at least a, a few hours to do, so I don't know, we'll see. Oh, this is good. We just got some blue dragon scales. Uh, I think I'll probably just finish, end up finishing, I think I'll probably just end up finishing this trip before we go test these out, but this means we can now make anti-fires. I have the level for it. With the anti-fires, I could either use a bow or I could use the shield as well. Um, I'm not sure if either of those are better, but you know, I may as well test them out. Wow, 3,000 experience for one herb lore potion. I'm speechless. Okay, so it seems like the magic short bow is pretty decent at blue dragons, but I'm not sure if it's better than my mithril bolts since the only ammo I have for this is steel arrows. If you have broad arrows, it's probably going to be better than the bolts, especially because it's a lot easier to make them. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this up. I may resort to it if I run out of mithril bolts, but We'll see how it goes. So you'll see here, I got some adamant plate legs that trip, which is pretty awesome. I don't have the adamant set for the medium clue step. So that is very nice to have in my inventory. And there goes the last ring of recoil. I pretty much used my whole bank to do this one task, man. It's kind of ridiculous. Like this trip right here for five bones took over 20 minutes. And actually, I, I think I buried one of the bones, so it's actually six kills. So it's like four minute, four minute kills. Uh, we're getting so close. We got three more dragons left. The, after this one, there will be two more. 
Uh, actually, we just finished the task. Let's get the hell out of here. I, I, I can't believe we just finished it. I, I'm kind of in disbelief right now. That right there is probably the longest grind I've ever had to go through. I think if you count prep time and getting all the supplies and getting everything ready for it, this task probably took me over 24 hours. Time to start Slayer.